I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano just was finished yesterday, so uh, we're getting it out there as quickly as we can. Um, it's a it's a Kawai 2007, um, essentially brand new, and we've and we've also put uh, a complete done a complete restoration on this piano or, or refurbishing, I should say. Um, and so it's in it's in perfect like new condition. This particular model is the is the UST9 which uh, locally here in Utah, there are obviously lots and lots of LDS churches, and the LDS church, um, of course, is uh, uh, a huge, um, what should we say, proponent or uh, a promoter of music, and so music is a big, big deal, and, uh, and they, bought, they, have, they have bought a lot of this particular model, UST7s, UST8s, UST9s. Um, which is basically the same piano, 45-inch piano, and I've worked on many, many, many of these pianos for for about 10 years. I did all of the pianos in uh, in East Provo for the LDS Church, which uh, which was about 100, 150, 160 pianos, something like that. And I would say maybe 40% of those, maybe even 50% of the pianos that I worked on were uh, were, were this very model. And so I'm very familiar. This is a, this is an awesome piano, super solid. Um, they just they just sound great. They, the touch is great. Um, they they endure a long, long time. So uh, so yeah, very very familiar with this piano, and, and I'm a I'm a I'm a big fan. Um, in fact, in fact, during that during that period that I that I worked on as a technician, all the all the pianos in uh, East Provo. Um, there was a there was a time that I was thinking that this would be my this is before I was I was selling pianos in a in in mass I was thinking that this would be my one of my future pianos when you know I got to that stage in life um, and I guess it is right now but uh, but in my home um, is what I was thinking at the time so uh, everything everything that we've done to the piano so. So pianos, on the one hand, they last forever. They last 100 years. But uh, as, as a general rule, about 20 to 20, 25, 30 years, something like that, is how long they can, they can really give excellent service. This piano was, was manufactured only about 10 years ago, a little bit over 10 years ago. Um, and so it, it, it really didn't, uh, the, the, the kind of wear that it had in, in those few short years was, uh, um, was not typical. Um, and we've completely taken care of uh, uh, any issues that, that it might have had um, that, that all pianos develop. Um, so it's fully regulated, it's voiced, it's tuned, hammers are reshaped, everything's tightened, aligned, um, and keys are leveled. We've taken care of the pedals to ensure that, that they're functioning properly. It's up to pitch, it's tuned. So let's we can peek inside here. And have a look at what I'm talking about rather than just talking about it, we can actually see it. Okay, so so hammers, you can, if, if you're familiar with um, what uh, what pianos are supposed to look like on the inside, then you'll know as you look in here that this is virtually um, indistinguishable from a uh, brand new piano. And it has it has the uh, ABS parts, the ABS jack and whippin, um, and hammer butts, which uh, um, and catchers, which oh, and and uh, uh, damper heads here as well, which Kawhi um, really makes a big deal out of um, bragging about and how how superior they are. My my personal feeling is, and and you feel free to of course read about it all over Kawhi's website and. and the, the uh, different threads on Piano World, lots and lots of opinions about it. And, and some people totally buy it and other people don't. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of, I guess, agnostic on it. I feel like it's great, like it works great. I, I, like, these, I like these ABS parts. I think they, they really do, a, they make for a nice touch. I also think that wooden parts are great. Um, I would say that the difference between the two is so minute in, as far as at least as far as my fairly un um, refined uh, piano touch tells me, uh, I 
I don't know that I notice a giant difference. Um, I think uh, I think it's an interesting innovation, but uh, and and they're good. It's good parts. I don't know what else to say about that. But you'll have to form your own opinion, I guess, by playing this piano and, and maybe reading those reading those threads uh, online. Um, okay, so so the piano is basically brand new. Uh, I believe this piano. Um, when it is brand new, retails for something like six or seven or eight thousand dollars, something like that. I haven't looked it up, but I'm, I'm fairly certain that it's that it's right in there. Um, some some retailers might might have it for a little bit higher. They might have it for nine, but um, but I think I think reasonably you can you can expect um, in the neighborhood of probably four to four to eight um, for this piano brand new. And so what we've done, where, where we've gone over it so, so completely thoroughly, uh, it's, it is essentially a brand new piano, um, an 11 year old brand new piano for, um, for an awesome price. Cosmetically, the piano also uh, is very pretty, pretty walnut, it's in great condition cosmetically, um, very, very minor nicks and things that you would expect from from a um, ten-year-old piano, but but again, I have to emphasize that they're very very minor. See what you think, 1497 South State Street in Orem, Utah. Thanks for watching.